Hi, it's Megan. I've been completely crazy busy with work, but I did want to get through my Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. So I got the 30 year collection and I did an overview video which I'll put a link to that in this but 30 shadows in one video is just really hard to do so I said I would do follow-up videos that actually go into a little bit more detail about the different layers so there was the smoky which I've done I'll put a link to that one and now I'm doing the natural or neutral ones and then last I'll do the artistic which is all the bright colors so 30 shadows these just came out I don't know a month ago a month and a half ago they are 0.07 ounces, they are $21, there are 210 colors. Some of them are labeled as blush, because they're not labeled safe for the eye area here in the US. Although a lot of other countries will let you use them in the eye area, so it's kind of your discretion. A lot of the purples are labeled as blushes, and I can't wear purple blush, so I wear them as eyeshadows. I don't have a problem so far, but I also don't wear them every day. I don't put them on my waterline, so I don't know. Buyer beware, right? Um, these are a gel to powder formula, and I'm not going to go into it too much since I've already done two other videos, but they have diamond, iridescent, matte, metallic, and satin finishes. And I have no satins in the collection that I'm looking at right here. I've got some mattes. The iridescent just seem to have more visible metallic glitter. The metallic aren't too metallic and that I can't wear super metallic shadows. They look a little hard on me since I have a warmer undertone. They look too cool. But um, the iridescent seem a little bit less shimmery than the metallic. And the metallic isn't like visible glitter. It's just a sheen. So that being said, there's a card that gives me my colors. And I went online. And these are them. So this is what Makeup Forever put in the natural neutral eye layer. And I'm just going to go through them one by one and tell you what I think. I just did actually what I've been wearing a lot on my eyes because that's what I wanted to do. I wear this one right here which is Milk Tea. And then I wear this one right here which is Sugar Coated Candy. Which is some matte also. These are two mattes. And then I play around with some of the shimmery ones and just line under my eyes and go into the crease. And then for today I just did a, uh, an upper line on my upper lashes, which I normally have not been doing. I just like doing the natural look with these and uh, playing around with the different kind of glittery, more deep colors under the eyes. If I were to criticize this selection, although this wouldn't be fair to the whole Makeup Forever collection, I just feel like this one had way too few of these kind of base shades, but that's just me. Okay, so first we have I550, and I'm not going to hold this palette up over and over again. I'm just going to show you. This one is called Olive Gray, and I kind of don't get, I mean, I guess I can see the olive in it. Yeah, I can see the olive, but to me it looks like a frosty, kind of what I would say a light cappuccino, a light brown, kind of a smoky metallic brown, but okay, it's called Olive Gray. And Iridescent is the one with the more obvious glitter. And this to me looks more like a metallic, honestly. The next one is M548, and this is a pink gray. To me, this is a taupe, medium taupe. These don't show up that well on swatches. I have outdoor swatches too. This is like a pink, medium pink taupe. It's a lot darker on. I can actually use this as a crease color than it is swatched. Really, really pretty color. All of these shadows are so pigmented. As I do these swatches, even like the lighter colors, doing one swipe with my finger, one swipe with my finger, they are so pigmented I don't even need a makeup primer, although that makes them last longer. Without a primer, they're about eight hours with a primer longer, even the lighter ones. Okay, the next one is M, these are mattes, three, no, M536. It's called Milk Tea, and this is a lighter neutral matte taupe, and I, I've been wearing this like constantly. It's a much warmer, it's not gonna show up right there very well. It's on my lids. And then I have something different in the crease, but this is just on my lids, nothing else. I love these colors. Um, the next one, Sugar Coated Candy. I think that's just the greatest name. This is a warm pink bone. It's a really nice color, just because it adds a little bit more than a lot of other bones. If you don't like warm pinks, pinks can be warm. This is a warm pink. You won't love it. It shows a lot better 
in the outdoor swatch because it's so light on my skin even. The next one, ME, so we're back to metallic. These were all mattes, back to, except for the first, back to metallic. ME, one, two, two, and this is called Snow, and this is just a shimmery white. This can be used as a highlight color. It almost has like a silver undertone to it. Wipe off my wrist. And it does have, well, it says it's a metallic, but it almost has shimmery. You can almost see the shimmer in this one more so than the other metallic. So when they say metallic or iridescent, whatever, there's a little variance in the formula. The next one is M3, M636 Cappuccino. It's a rich, warm, medium brown, and I can see a slight red undertone to it. Again, a matte. I like colors like this. I really like colors like this. And this is actually the one I use as a lighter shade on the upper lid. Just dotted it on. And I was saying on the other video, what's interesting about these is a lot of times to get a really good line, I need to wet the brush or the, the shadow the brush really that will wet the shadow to get a really strong line that lasts not with the shadows for the most part and that's only the ones I have I can only speak to the ones I have the next one is called I662 it's amber brown and this to me is really similar I just wiped it off but I'm going to take it it's really similar to the cappuccino but it's a little bit more orange and then it's got that metallic shimmer see this one to this one the next is ah, D640 this did not have a name. I don't. I couldn't find it on the Makeup Forever on Sephora site, so I don't know if it's still available. I don't know what the deal is. This is what it looks like, but it looks to me like a rich, deep, shimmery bronze. And you can see how they. This one's cooler than the other two. You can see they're all similar family, but different undertones. And it does have. It's a diamond, but I don't see visible shimmer. It just has more of a sheen that's a little bit softer than the metallics. The next one is ME, so metallic, 512. It's a golden beige, and it's oddly correct. That's exactly what it looks like. This is a great highlight shade in the inner corner of your eyes. I don't know, it's just it's a really pretty light gold. Golden beige, right there. You can see. You can see as it shifts with the light. These do, these are amazingly pigmented. They do shift a little bit with the light, but every single one of them is pigmented, even the light ones. The next one is D868 Crystalline Pink. This is a gorgeous shimmery white pink. It's kind of a fun color. I'm going to do a different finger. It's super light. It's it's actually, it's super light, except when the light hits it the right way, and then it's like this glowing pink thing. You can see it up there. I'm trying to get the light to hit it the right way. When I look down at my wrist, I can just see it's not going to show up, but it does show up, so it looks almost non-existent there, but I know my outdoor swatch, it looks super pink. So it's like when the white hits, light hits it right, it looks super pink. When it doesn't, it almost doesn't even appear. It's kind of cool. And it's a diamond, so it again has that softer kind of, not quite metallic sheen. So anyway, these are the neutrals, the naturals. Again, super consistent quality. These are kind of blowing other, other eyeshadows out of the water right now for me. I kind of wish I could return a lot of my other eyeshadows, but whatever. It's fine. It's all good. Anyway, that's it. If you have some of these, I would love to hear the colors I absolutely need to have. You can see just a really great neutral, natural look. I love the way that this particular collection has some just consistent, amazing quality across all the finishes, which is really unusual. And I used basically only two brushes because this is a hard, small eyeshadow brush. I like this because I can then apply very precisely. These blend beautifully, so it's really easy to just put them where you want and then blend them out. It's just, they're really easy to work with. And then I like using this smoky eye brush just to line because there's so much pigment in them, it kind of half blends them to begin with. Someone said in a review that they almost blend themselves, and they kind of almost blend themselves. Um, I think that's it. I have a new book. Escape, which is a terrorist novel. If you like that, get it. If you don't, please don't. And that is it. I will do the artistic one very soon. I've just been so busy, so these won't be the best videos of all time. But they <laughs>